Well, India has a significant problem with uh, waste management caused by the fact that there's been rapid urbanization in India. In addition, you followed what was you thought was a successful solution in the West, which was to landfill waste. That's not the right solution. India doesn't have enough land for that as a solution. So too much waste is going to landfill where it's releasing toxic greenhouse gases. We began by advising com companies how to address their carbon emissions by measuring their carbon footprint. In 2012, we came to Bangalore in India and set up Carbon Masters India. And for a year, we tried to do what we've been successfully doing back home in, in Europe uh, and didn't succeed because back then, not many Indian companies were remotely interested in measuring their carbon footprint, much less paying anybody for it. So we thought if they wouldn't buy advice, would they buy a solution? In the course of looking at a briquettes factory, it was owned by a chicken farmer who had built the very first plant in southern India, which was a biogas plant, but it had a purification piece of kit tacked on the back end of it. When we looked at it, it was defunct. But we recognized that what he was producing, or if it had worked, what he was trying to produce was a carbon neutral gas that could save carbon emissions. So we very serendipitously got into the biogas, bio, C and G business. We took over that plant. We worked out how to take food waste, chicken waste, convert it with, with technology that we then added to convert it into two products that we sell on market today, which is Carbon Lights Bio CNG, which is used in commercial restaurants to displace LPG, and a, and a carbon enriched organic fertilizer that we sell to farmers to put carbon back in the soil and help them reduce the amount of chemical fertilizers they're using. It's so much better for the environment. It's so much better for your staff because they're not inhaling any sort of uh, toxic fumes anywhere. Um, customers will be very proud to probably eat in your restaurant because, you know, uh, they're looking at it from the environmental friendliness uh, aspect. There are multiple stages in our entire facility and if we can consider our entire facility as a manufacturing unit, we can try and automate the entire process right from crushing the waste into forming it into a slurry and then feeding it into an anaerobic digester and uh, managing both the gas and the slurry also can be automated and this is what we are working on of course. And we've been approached by a couple of companies that are actually got some interesting ideas about how we might use robots to do a lot of a lot of this work so there's a lot of a lot of exciting stuff going on not that area and also we are developing certain softwares uh, to help customer uh, understand how much gas consumption he's doing on a daily basis and also uh, the total carbon emissions that he's saving across every day's consumption so that is something that we are working on as well the biggest advantage i see with this gas is the fact that you can track uh, your you know, pressure and the amount of gas that's remaining in the cylinder. So um, that way you're not worried about people stealing the cylinders or the gas that comes into the uh, premises. We argue that a bio CNG and organic manure plant is the best carbon mitigation solution available in the world today because we're stopping that waste going to landfill and releasing methane, and we're creating two products that by themselves reduce carbon. We take out a fossil fuel and reduce carbon, and we put carbon back in the soil, which saves carbon. So across the piece, it's a fantastic carbon mitigation solution. We believe as awareness of this technology grows, the demand for it will, will increase substantially, and we're in a position now with the experience we've got to be able to meet that demand.